Can I offer you a bridge? Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's the Renewed Thrift and Vintage in Font Hill. As we're getting to the door, we see, see that they have a few things outdoors, even in the winter. And as we enter the actual doors, on the right you see the clothing, women's, men's, children, and so on. We'll be looking at that a bit later. But first we're going to deal with the uh, left side. There's the center link. We'll talk about that separately. And here we've got the hard goods, which include all the glassware, ceramics. And there's quite a bit of glassware that we're going to see here. Some of it's in the window, which helps highlight it nicely by backlighting it. Especially when it's colored glass. That substantial selection of a variety of different genres, ages, some are old, very old, some are old, some are vintage, some are contemporary. Some of the contemporary are copies of the very old ones in some cases. Mugs, glasses, stemmed, unstemmed, all sorts. Font Hill is in the Niagara region, a bit west of Thorold and south of St. Catharines, north of Welland, if that helps uh, center it for you. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique, vintage and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And we're continuing on with the, uh, the glassware. This is, a, this is the street side, uh, the main street, the highway. Used to be Highway 20. And it's not far from the from the um, bridge over the Welland Canal. So I've been trying to get to this location for a little while, and the there tended to be a ship going through, and the bridge was up. And it creates a very long detour, so it didn't quite work in. But now that the shipping season's closed for the season. Uh, the bridge is always down, so I was able to get to it. I'm often fitting it in with other things, so that's why I, the bridge was an issue. Interesting contemporary blue small bowls. They're a pretty good deal. And then you've got all sorts of uh, coffee making and brewing apparatus there. And we're continuing on. We're getting into some of the other uh, kind of related kitchenware.
And we continue on with some of the other kitchenware. But we're heading into the Christmas uh, room. They have it pretty well covered. They may not have a Christmas tree in here right at this time, but they've even got it down to music selection. C DVD, CDs, of, as those are CDs of crooners. But they've got the wreaths and bows and other decorations that you might want to reassemble into something of of your own design. Now we're heading into the link area. It links the uh, front of the store to the what I refer to as the warehouse. They have some of the shoes and boots and a little bit of the artwork. It's kind of a bit of a mishmash. Ties into two areas. Bit of towels. There's some more of the shoes. There's a little bit of the bookware and books as well. But not, that's not the main location for the books. And here we are. We're actually going to do the left. Oh, the, the clothing side. This is where the cashier, the cash registers are as well. These. This is the glass showcase where they have some of the more precious items. And an interesting selection of items at that. Jewelry of, I don't know if it's uh, more than just costume, but they look pretty good. The prices were seem to be pretty good. Yeah, going past the ladies, maternity and children's and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, I'm heading towards the men's, which has the, potentially has the Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I love vintage Angry Birds t-shirt there. I didn't find anything in the way of a Hawaiian shirt. Um, Sometimes you have to move things to see some of the patterns that are kind of hidden, but uh, no such luck this time. Not even in the um, knit tops. Although those would be quite unusual. And then we get into some suits and jackets. And the slacks, pants, whichever. Sometimes they do put in some women's into the men's. In error, of course. But some other t-shirts. Looking at it from the other direction, sometimes you find things. And then across from the men's is the... Um, it's a variety of things, uh, including a room of uh, sewing notions. And then we get into some other fabrics here as we're heading into one of the rooms containing books. If I remember right, this was the children's books. Now, I must say a lot of them had a Christian slant, so if you're looking for Christian type books, not only in the children's but in the adult section, you'll find that they've got somewhat of a selection. There's quite a bit. It wasn't just one little shelf, it was so pretty well a whole room. And then they had a separate room of just games. Plus other topics, uh, adult mm, chapter books, I suppose, for young adults as well. So 
This is the second book room. Some fairly common ones. Some idiot's guides. There was a um, shelving system in the middle of the room. So you had you could go around it and you'd see different things from the different angles. Yes, there was sunshine into th these rooms. More of an industrial building. Might have been commercial. I'm not sure what it had been previously. A separate room for the toys. There's all sorts of uh, different type of things here. And now we're moving on to the, what I refer to as a warehouse. They actually had a padded back and seat of a, on a small pew. Whether it was padded after or had been done at, for the church, I'm not sure. So three levels of um, racking the prop, top probably had some duplicates or seasonal items so that you'd probably have to request those for sure even the ones on the first shelf up you'd probably be best to request that they be brought down for you if you wanted to look at them these were some headboards and then we get these um, child infant seats rockers things like that so an interesting selection of furniture, uh, har other hard goods like electronics and so on and so forth. A very large uh, ornamental type of sofa there. I think it was four or five seater. And then there was a single s seat that m was a match for it. You'd have to have a fair size home and then there's the single seat may have been a couple of other pieces that would work with it. You have to have a fair size living room to fit that into. It doesn't just fit into a lot of current smaller homes. And then they had this interesting piece of art it's laying there on one of the items. I used that at the beginning of the video ink as well. And in the next dial we find that they've got electric electronics cables wires how a drill fits into that oh uh, okay whatever i think it just switched from one to another topic but printers keyboards they had a whole bunch of screens if we didn't see them yet we'll leave them shortly now uh, those green boxes are interesting. They are for a Henry vacuum. Got them for four bucks a piece. That was pretty good compared to uh, getting them elsewhere for like thirty-four dollars, thirty-eight dollars. They had uh, subwoofers and other speakers, along with the. Uh, Various DVD, CD, disc players. There's a, an older camera there as well.
and they had a whole room full of VHS, CDs, DVDs off this warehouse area. And there's a view of the warehouse itself, but it's all the walls, except for the one, a couple of doors. So, there's quite a bit to look at there, if that's your specialty area. And then they had plumbing fixtures, they had uh, all sorts of things. Included in there. Some of these were just by the link area. So if you were looking for baskets for an upcoming season, it's a good chance you'd find something. And they had these um, substantial amount of furniture, nice, nice old chest. And it was a reasonable price. Light fixtures various sorts. Sometimes you see some oddball, oddball cords. Sometimes it's what you need. This is the kind of place you go for it. We work our way to the back wall again. You see there's some framed art. Whether you actually take get it for the art or you just get it for the frame, it could be a good deal for you to just get the frames. And some glass inserts for doors as well is mixed into that. And the ubiquitous crutches. electric mower see some of the electronics there some light fixtures of all sorts ones and then they've got lamp um, yeah lampshades some smaller pieces that you could work with to repurpose or redo here's a few of the screens there were a couple of places not far from each other but they're all lined up in one section We'll see that in a moment. The aquarium as well. Some amplifiers if you're hooking it up to say an electric guitar there's you go there you go I don't know how well it works it's a separate issue and here we're sneaking up on something some printers here printer scanners there's some more screens up top there some luggage, some 
seasonal boots. More electronics down this aisle. And from the seasonal boots, you can see there's ski boots and all kinds of various sports are covered here from, from skiing, snowboards, to golf, to some sort of goalie equipment. So here's their card, their hours, um, their official address, their social media connections. And I don't always get these kind of cards that have all this information. So thanks for watching. I'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe would be nice, and maybe dingle the bell so you know when the next one's up. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.